Hello, welcome to another Tableau video. I'm going to show you something called splitting. And splitting is the same as delimiting in, in Excel. And if you still don't know what it means, then I'll just show you. Okay, Pretend that I have this data set up here. Ignore this one for the moment. It doesn't exist. Okay, let's just get rid of that. And what I want to do is, for example, I want to split this like so. Right? I want to have the street, the suburb, and the state in three different columns. And the reason could be I want to map it, I want to put them on a map. So obviously I need geographical names on in Tableau. I could have a postcode in there, for example, so I can map their location. Right. So I want to be able to split it. In the current state, I can't really do much with it. Okay. I need to split the information up. Okay. Same goes for the name. I got a first name and last name. But I don't want to do it in Excel. And the reason is, let's say you have a data source extract coming from a server or SAP or Salesforce or, uh, you know, access database, whatever it may be, and it comes in this state. What you're going to have to do if you do it in Excel is every time you get it, you're going to have to clean it up in Excel. By doing it in Tableau, you don't have to do anything after you got the extract. You just go to Tableau directly and you just refresh, right? So by doing it in Tableau, it's automatic. By doing it in Excel, you're adding a few steps to yourself, right? So once I do the breakup, it sh this uh, section should look like this, right? See how you got the three split now? Okay. And then for the other one, it'll split like so. Okay. First name, last name. So let's get rid of this. All right. I'm going to save this onto my downloads. Let's call this um, splitting. Okay. I'm going to open up Tableau. I'm going to load this data up. Nope. Load it up. Load it up. Load it up. All right, let's load it up. All right, so I've got my data in here. Now, as you can see, it's loaded as is, right? So here's how I split it. Let's get rid of that. I click on this little triangle right here. I go custom split. And the reason I don't use the other split is I want you to be able to set it to whatever the character is that's splitting it, like space, commas, colons, semicolons, the at symbol, whatever it might be. And basically, you just put in what's separating them. So in this case, it's a comma, right? Then this split off will split off however many times that exists. So let's say it's one, two. So I want this to be all, right? And if I go OK, it will split it into three. Now, one added benefit is it actually keeps the original, OK? Because I may use that for something else. Or if I do some sort of cleaning here, I can check the original to see if I actually did something wrong. And to rename it, we just double click. And we go street, go to here, we go suburb, state. And now I don't have to do anything the next time the, next time the data set comes in because these are already calculations, as you can see from this little symbol, little equal symbol there. So I can do the same thing for the name. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go custom split. This time I'm going to use a space, right? And there's only one, so I'm only going to split. I'm going to split into two columns, right? Because there's one, two items. So we'll go OK. And as you can see, it's split it up as well. Let's rename that. Let's go full name. Right, first name. Also, you don't have to rename the next time the data set comes in. It will know what it was before and what you've renamed it to. So we go last name. And I'm pretty sure there's a way to show that by going to this view. Uh, no, not that view. Show our aliases. I think it's that one. Show aliases. No, that's not it. I must have just dreamt it. But that's how you do splitting or delimitation. So I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.